and then go back to doing the purple. Ah! Oh man. Hey guys, it's Brooke. And for my video today, I'm gonna to be showing you guys this rainbow makeup tutorial. I'm doing this look because it's Pride Month and I've been seeing a lot of YouTubers do rainbow inspired makeup looks in order to help support the LGBTQ plus community. My friend Charlotte did a video like this last week and it made me really, really wanna hop on the bandwagon and do a look for you guys. So I'll have her video in the description box below. You should definitely check it out. And I will also have organizations you can donate to which help support the LGBTQ plus community. And then I just wanna say before we get into the video, if you're new here, hello, I'm Brooke and welcome to my channel, however you may have found it. I upload on Tuesdays and Fridays, mainly related to makeup, but pretty much whatever I want to post. So if that's something that interests you, please hit that subscribe button down below and become part of my YouTube family. And like I always say, if that doesn't interest you, that's fine, but get that negative energy out of here. Now with all that being said, let's get right on into the makeup tutorial. Okay guys, so I have my eye primed and I have a few colorful palettes behind me. I don't know if I'll use all of them, but I'll definitely let you guys know what ones I'm dipping into before I put a shade on my lid. I think on this eye, I want to do pink and orange and reds on the top and blues and greens and purple on the bottom and then do the opposite on this eye. I think that's what I'm going for. So to start out first, I'm going to dip into the Conspiracy palette and take the shade Food Vibes. And I'm going to focus this on the crease on my inner corner. Hmm. I've never dipped into this color before, and I have to say I'm a little disappointed. It does, it's nowhere near as neon as it looks in the palette, but it still works for what I'm trying to do. Okay, so for the orange, I'm going to dip into My Man from the Jaclyn Hill Volume 2 palette, and I'm going to put that right next to the yellow shade in the same area on my crease. And then I'm gonna dip back into Food Vibes to keep brightening it up so that we don't lose that pigmentation. Next, I'm going to dip into this hot pink from the Suede Morphe collab on the same brush and just keep building up the rainbow colors of the crease. I'm just dipping back into that orange shade to make sure I don't lose any of that pigmentation. And then the last shade I'm going to go for is Flame and Hot from the Conspiracy palette and put this on my outer corner. I pretty much immediately lost that pink. So I'm just going back over it again before I even continue with the red. And same with the orange. And for the red, I'm actually gonna pick up a fluffy crease brush instead of the small one so I can wing it out easier. So I've lost that pink color a lot, so I'm gonna dip into it again but I don't know if I'm gonna be able to save the pink. There's just not enough different tone in that red. So instead of using Flaming Hot, I'm going to pick up Living My Best from the Jaclyn Hill palette and put that one on top to see if I can help differentiate between the pink and the red. Okay, I think that that helped. So I'm gonna pick up the pink shade again. Pink and red do look very similar, but I still am liking how it's coming out. Pick up the orange shade again, and then pick up the yellow shade again. Now I'm just gonna take a big fluffy brush to blend the top of these all together. I'm just gonna go ahead and cut my crease off camera, and I'll be right back to show you what I keep on doing. Okay, so I actually decided what I was gonna do with the look. So I didn't want any colors on my lid to distract away from the gorgeous cut crease I was able to create. So I just took Ranch from the Conspiracy palette, which is this shade right here, put it all over my lid and did my winged eyeliner off camera to save a little bit of time. And now we're gonna go ahead and do the green and blue purple look on the other eye. I did just prime this eye off camera as well. So I'm not gonna be using as many palettes for this side. I think I'm just only gonna be dipping into this one since it has the green, blue, and purple right here. But I might also dip into the purple of the Jaclyn Hill palette because I really like that deep purple. But we're gonna start with the green from the Sweetie X Morphe palette called Green Room. And we're gonna put this in the same spot that the yellow is on this eye, so our inner corner. And then from there, we're gonna dip into the blue in the palette on the same brush and put it right next to it. 
I never do this eye on camera, so hopefully you guys can see me well. And then I just cleaned my brush and dipped back into the green so we don't lose any pigmentation. Pop on some more blue. And now we're ready for the purple. I am switching brushes for the purple to a more pointed brush. Uh, so that way I can wing it out easier. And I'm still using the Morphe Sweetie palette, or Sweetie, but I'll see if I need to dip into a different one. I'm going to pick up Not My Journey from the Jacqueline Morphe Hill one. Jacqueline Morphe Hill? No. <laughs> from the Morphe Jacqueline Hill palette, just because I think it's a little bit deeper, which is better for the outer corner. I'm just going to pick up the blue shade again, just to make sure we don't lose that intensity. Then I'm going to pick up a different fluffy brush from before, just to make sure that no warm tone colors get put on this side, and I'm going to use it to blend away any harsh lines on the top part of the look. So I'm going to cut the crease, finish up the lid and the liner on this side, just like I did on this eye. Then I'm going to do all of the rest of my makeup, so my foundation, everything like that, and then come back to show you the underneath part of the eye. Okay, so this is what I'm working with so far. I kind of honestly messed up the cut crease on both sides. They're not super sharp, but as long as I'm not looking down, you guys can't see them. So let's just pretend they're not there, okay? Help each other. Pretend it looks good, it'll photograph well, that's all that matters. So for this eye, like I said, I wanna do the warm tones underneath and for this eye, I wanna do the cool tones underneath. So to start, I'm gonna take the red shade that I was using before, the one from the Jaclyn Hill palette and a flat brush. And I'm going to put this on my waterline. And then I'm going to pick up the same orange shade that I was using, it's also the one from the Jaclyn Hill palette right here. And I'm going to use that to buff out the red shade. And then before I move on, I just honestly want to fix what I've got going on there. I couldn't decide on whether or not I wanted to connect the red up to the purple, but I decided that I didn't. So I just need to go in and fix that really quickly. To finish off this bottom look, I'm going to take the same brush that I did the orange and dip into the yellow and just use that to even more thoroughly buff out the other two colors. Okay, I got this eye all fixed up and now I'm just gonna go ahead and pretty much do the same thing with the other eye by taking the dark purple first and putting it on my waterline and then using the other two shades to buff it out. Just to remind you, the blue and the green were both from the Suede palette. Okay, now this look definitely needs a dramatic lash, so I'm going to add that and pop on my lip gloss and some highlighter. I'll be back to show you guys the finished look. Okay guys, so here is the totally completed look. I absolutely love how it came out. Though the cut crease isn't perfect, I'm still really proud of the look. I think it's super cute and it's definitely rainbow, which is exactly what I was going for. If you guys enjoyed this video, please make sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe if you like and want to see more of this type of content. That's all that I have for you guys this time and I'll see you in the next one. Bye!